Hello, in this uh, video tutorial, I'm going to talk about uh, associative array and JavaScript. Uh, let me tell you why we need one and uh, why it's good to have an associative array. Let's go ahead and create an array. Uh, I'll call it var uh, x equal, and I'll uh, put some value here. Okay. Well, by looking at this array, you don't really have an idea as what are those data representing, right? Let me give you a better example. Let me go ahead and uh, have something like this. I have a variable uh, array called book, and it has few elements. So this array represents a book. Would you be able to identify all the values or relation of the values with a book? You might be too able to, do, to find some of them. Like for John Doe, and John Doe, uh, probably is the author, and the other one might be the title of the book. Uh, the third element is the ISBN. Fourth element is, um, I can say, number of pages. And the last element would be the price, right? It would be nice if I could label these values in a way that I could say, okay, this is the title, this is the author, this is the price, and ISBN. So everybody could say the same thing if I add a label there. That is when you need an associative array. So uh, associative array, uh, uh, when you compare it with regular array, is uh, regular array, they, knew they need indexes, integer number, to reference different element of the array. With associative array, you actually need a string index to be able to access those. So let me show you where the difference. So if I want to go ahead and change this one to an associative array, the very first thing I do, I change this square bracket to curly brackets. So that's the very first thing I do, right? Second, I start giving labels. So for instance, uh, we'll call this title colon, right? I just go to the next line so you can see it better. Uh, second one, I make this one author. And please pay attention that I'm not putting a single code around the key of uh, or label of these fields, right? Uh, then I will go with ISBN, uh, international book number, a standard book number, I believe it is, stands for. Uh, okay, and then I have next one, pages, right? And the last one would be price, right? So if you look at this, this is how you create an associative array as uh, when you compare it with a regular array. Now, let me go ahead and refresh this page and see what is the result. So just go ahead, refresh. Now I just type book in here. So as you can see, now I can see all these elements inside the book. But let's look at one more thing here. This is not array anymore. This is called object. I'll talk about this in a bit. Uh, but just if I want to access any of these elements now, I can simply go in and say, give me book, square bracket. Remember, we used to put the indexes here. Now I have to put a string and put the label. In this case, if I want to get the title, I just go ahead and type title. Right. If I want to get the uh, price, simply go ahead and add the price. Right. There is other way of doing this as well. I can go and say book dot ISBN. Then uh, it doesn't give me anything because what did they do here? ISNB. I put. Oh my God. ISBN. Here you go. Then I can get the ISBN. Uh, book dot price. Right, or book, square bracket, price, right? I can do it this way, and I can even change the value if I need to, because it's going to be treated like a very uh, regular variable at this moment. So if I go back and just call book dot price or book square bracket price, you see the value has been changed. That's all about the associative array. But one other thing that you have to remember is. Uh, if I go ahead and just say book dot num at the sorry length at this moment, it does not give me anything because these are not array at all. They're objects in JavaScript, but they work or they look like an associative array, right? Uh, there are so many things we can do with the object. I uh, will create more videos on that one as well uh, in future. I hope you enjoyed the video. Talk to you soon.